Greetings and salutations, viewers, to the Zai Cybertronics coming to you with the Make Toys Giant Wheel Loader, aka Scavenger. Uh, this is one of the third party uh, Transformers that creates um, Giant, which is the third part, one of the third party Devastators. Um, this was if you got to see my unboxing uh, a couple of weeks or a week ago. And you notice this was in the unboxing. Let's, let's lower the camera down just a little bit so we can get a better shot of this guy. I wanted to start it off in vehicle mode and work my way into robot mode to show off how this thing really looks uh, to start. Um, it rolls really nicely. Uh, the One of the weapons fits right here on the side and one of the fists uh, connects here, which I really like what they did with the fist. It kind of looks like a, you know, like a generator. It's because each one of the fists has its own little wheel. Uh, let's take this off and set it aside and show you how the rest of this looks. Um, rest of this looks really nice. Um, as you can see, it has MTC Core Company right there on the side. Uh, the front loader can the bucket can raise and lower but it's kind of tricky with this little hip this joint here but you can get it to where it, it's like turning so for playability in a vehicle mode it's really nice um you do have this hold here at the end but we all know what that's for because this guy becomes the leg and what i plan on doing is starting from the legs up and the final review will be all of them combined but i just want to show you this really real quick the vehicle mode is rather nice so let's go ahead and uh i'm not going to do this on camera but i'm going to show you what the robot mode looks like and now. here he is in his robot mode um really really decent robot mode uh, i like how everything uh, folds out. The uh, reason I didn't want to do the transformation on camera is it is a rather lengthy com uh, transformation and I want to try to keep these videos for this as short as possible to er for so everybody can enjoy it. Um, I really like how this is in like the G2 colors like I said and it looks really nice. One of the things I like is that the arms the wheels rotate around for transformation so that's pretty cool uh the head is on a ball joint uh that is the head sculpt right there it's just that you have such a big uh body here at the top that the head does kind of get hidden um i wish that the colors were a little bit better on the head if you can see here um, he, he does have these dark blue eyes, so it's, it's really just black. That's, I wish there was like a different head for this, um, articulation. You, you have the arms on a ball joint and a universal mushroom joint here and a elbow, uh, no wrist swivel. There is a hip move. But with all this kibble here on the back, because the whole back of the the uh, front end, the wheel loader folds up to this, um, so it's kind of hard to get that. Uh, legs are on a ball joint here, and then a mushroom clip here, and a normal knee bend, and you do have a hip pivot or an ankle pivot, so you can get some pretty decent stances with this guy uh, so that is kind of cool uh, construction wise the plastic on this thing is really nice but there are some places where you feel like if you force it too much it's going to break uh, to show you size comparison uh, I have Firefly here from the new Combiner Wars and 
really fits in the scale with this guy. I really do like that. So, and one of the main reasons I wanted to do the reviews of these guys now is that with the the Toy Fair releasing the new Devastator, I just wanted to show this one off. I really like this. It's a really awesome figure. And as the set, as you'll see at the end of the review, it's a really nice Devastator. So this has been Cybertron X, and this has been the review of Make Toys Giant Wheel Loader, a.k.a. Scrapper. Later.